Hey folks, if you have been planning to put more food back, if you've been planning to learn more survival skills, I really highly suggest you start putting that food back now. You really jump on that and also learning those survival skills because I believe that very hard times are coming down the road and not just sometime down the road, but in the very near future. So let's jump right into this. Freedom seats for everyone! <laughs> That's just fun as can be. Hey folks, if you are looking to buy bang sticks or freedom dispensers or parts for said freedom dispensers or actual emergency food that will give you actual nutrients while still lasting 25 years, then check out the affiliate links that will be down below in the description box and also in the pinned comment. Now let's get on with the video. Hey, welcome to my bug out location here. It's nothing big and fancy, but it is mine. And I still got a lot of work I gotta do on this place, but it is slowly and surely coming along. Hey, hopefully you can hear me over these cicadas. This is the time of the year for those 17 year cicadas to be out and they are extremely loud today. So let's get on with this. So folks, as a long time hardcore prepper myself and you folks being preppers yourselves, we have a tendency to look at past history. We try to look to see what's, what we think is going to be coming on down the road. We see what's happening now. We kind of read all this and we kind of put this together and to try to do what's best for us. But it seems like so many other people in society, the general public can't do that. And then if they did do that, why they would be preppers too. But here are the reasons why that I think that SHTF or at least very hard times are coming in the very near future instead of just sometime down the road. And here's why I think that you need to start shoring up your food supplies now and checking out any other shortcomings you may have in your prepping now instead of down the road. I personally think that we are about to enter into an era of hyperinflation. And then I also think that coming in the near future are going to be more variants of this COVID-19 that's going to have the governments react the way they did. Many governments react the way that they did with the past waves of it. And then once you combine those two together, hyperinflation and more variants and more shutdowns and lockdowns and stuff like that, the combination of those both, I think, are, is going to finish collapsing our economy. So folks, the first thing that we have to remember is that viruses mutate. Yes, right now they have these vaccines out, but we have to remember that viruses mutate. That's just how viruses survive. So I think there's a real high probability that we are going to see variants down the road that the current vaccines that we have won't handle, won't be able to stop. Now, usually most of the time when these viruses mutate, they mutate into a variant that's usually less lethal because that's just, again, that's how viruses survive. If they kill off their host, then they can't continue on replicating because their hosts die on them. But my fear is, is that these variants that we will probably experience in the future, while they will be even less lethal than what we had before, that governments will still react out of fear and do things that's going to hurt our economy even more than what it already is by doing these shutdowns, lockdowns, etc. And that is where you get your double whammy. When the first lockdowns happen, when they first shuttered the economy and hurt the economy, they digitally printed, they digitally created that stimulus money that they gave us to try to stimulate the economy. This was not even printed money. This again, this was digitally created out of thin air. And we all know this, even us people that are not economists, because I am not an economist, but even us non-economists know that when you digitally create money out of thin air, all you do is devalue 
the money that you do have. When they digitally created this money to stimulate the economy, what they did was they devalued the American dollar. And now I believe we are getting ready to go into hyperinflation because of that. So I really believe that our pay the piper time is really as near our doorsteps. I can remember when these stimulus checks first started coming out, I remember telling my wife, you know, you know what, hey, these stimulus checks are really nice. They are allowing me to get things done at the bug out property that I would normally would have had to have put off until I got the money saved up. But I remember telling her, as nice as these checks are, I wish we weren't getting them because they're going to hurt us down the road. But I did figure if the government was going to give me something or give society something that's going to hurt us down the road, I would at least use that money here at my bug out location to use that money for prepping, to help offset when things get tough down the road. So again, I really believe that we are going to have new variants of this COVID down the road that our current vaccines won't work on. And then until new vaccines get caught up and, and get that ones under control, that until that happens again, I fear that the governments are again going to act out of fear and they're going to start doing more of the shuttering of businesses and, and things like the lockdowns and things like that that again really kill our economy and then when you double that with the hyperinflation that we're getting ready to run into and the fact that they will probably digitally create more money to try to stimulate that i think it's just all that that house of cards is just all going to be crumbling down again in the very near future. So again, that is why I said that at the beginning of the video, which is get your food supplies shored up now, learn those prepping skills, survival skills while you can now, purchase those supplies while you can now because they're only going to get more expensive as this hyperinflation starts setting in. Folks, what I am telling you is get these supplies now, learn these skills now so that when this house of cards comes tumbling down, when a loaf of bread costs $200, when your neighbor can't afford a loaf of bread because it costs $200 because of hyper hyperinflation, you will already have the supplies and the skills that you need to make your family that loaf of bread to keep them fed. Now folks, all of this may not happen. We may just chug along and we may have some bumps in the road, but we may just chug along and with just a few bumps, just come out the other side just fine. But with everything going on, I really feel like we are in really shaky times right now. And when you start adding in hyperinflation down the road, when you start adding in people being out of work down the road, when you start adding in more lockdowns and stuff like that that the governments will do out of fear, and then you just add something in there like a controversial police action shooting or something else just to, to spark something off, then I really believe we, could, we are going to be seeing some really tough times again in the very near future. I could be wrong and hopefully I am wrong, I am just laying this out there for you folks as, hey, this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking things are gonna to get tough and it's, not, and it's going to be in the not so distant, distant future. So folks, why don't you do me a favor, comment down below with your thoughts on this. Do you think that our economy is just gonna keep chugging along and we are going to come out okay? Or do you feel like that our economy is starting to do a spiral and we are on our way to some type of an economic crash? And to learn what most of the general public does not know about economic crashes and how they affect you, then click on the video that should be appearing on the screen just about now to learn that powerful knowledge. Anyways, folks, this is enough internet for today. I do need to get to work. Folks, if you made it this far, hey, thank you very much, and I pray that you have a good night.